best practice number two, you want to ensure the validity of the JWT. Don't trust any token that just walks into the door. You want to validate the signature of it, for instance, like a security guard would do when they're checking IDs. So here's how to do it right. Well, one, you need to start parsing the JWT, things like the header, the payload, the signature of it, and that'll ensure that those aspects of the JWT are up to par with your expectations. An example of this, verifying the signature of the JWT using things like a public or private key that's part of the mechanism to create that JWT in the first place. You could check and see if it's been tampered with if it doesn't match up with your expectations there using those keys. You want to use a strong algorithm for signing your JWTs. One of the common ways to sign them is with HMAC and SHA-256. In this scenario, a shared key is used to validate the token. However, in scenarios where you don't want to share a key, an asymmetric algorithm such as ECDSA can be used to sign the token with a private key and then validated later on with a public key that's available for anyone. 